As we have gone through the details related to course outline as well as desired audience, now let's talk about prerequisites. First we'll talk about logistic, then we'll actually talk about desired background. When it comes to logistics, you need to have a computer with decent configuration. When it comes to memory, the memory should be at least 4 GB. However, 8 GB is highly desired. Also, when it comes to CPU, dual core is required. However, quad core is highly desired. When it comes to browser, most of the demos will be given using Chrome browser. Most of the browsers should work for you, but we would recommend to use Chrome browser. You need to have a high speed internet so that you can actually follow the content by watching the videos without pauses in between. If you do not have high speed internet, then there will be pauses. It will break the flow and you will not be able to make sense about what I am talking uh, as part of that particular topic. And hence we would highly suggest to have high speed internet before you sign up for this course. That being said, if you are not sure about how to get the computer configuration details, if you are using Mac, you can actually expand this and then say about this mac you should be able to get the details here with respect to memory when it comes to chip you can see the details here earlier ones will have not chip but some other information but it will give you the information related to whether it is dual core or quad core most of the macs which you might have bought in past five years should work fine there shouldn't be any issues as long as you have at least 8gb memory in your mac that being said, when it comes to Windows, if you want to understand your Windows configuration, then what you are supposed to do is, let me get into my Windows desktop. In this, you can actually go to File Explorer or Folder Explorer. I think this is File Explorer. Yeah, File Explorer. Once you are in the File Explorer, you see this PC here. You can right click on this and then you can say Properties. Once you say properties, you should be able to see the details about the memory and CPU here. You can see the CPU details here. To get number of cores, you can actually search for this in the Google and you should be able to get the number of cores. You can see the memory here. It is 16 GB memory in my system. Some people get confused between storage and memory. Here I am talking about memory, not the storage. Uh, as long as you have any amount of storage beyond 16 GB free on your system, we should be good to go. If you are curious about how to get the details about the storage, all you need to do is go to the file explorer. As part of the file explorer, you can scroll down here or you can click on this PC. Let's maximize this. You see devices and drives. Here you should be able to see the storage that is available on this PC. If you are using Mac, I think you have to go to the utilities. For that you can actually click on this and then search for utilities. There is a disk utility. You can click on this and you should be able to get the storage that is available on your Mac. This is how you should be able to get the details about your uh, system's configuration. Make sure you review this before you sign up for the course. You should have at least 4 GB memory. However, 8 GB is highly desired. When it comes to CPU, it has to be at least uh, dual core. However, quad core is highly desired. Most of the current day systems are at least dual core. That being said, now let's get into the details related to desired background. You need to have either some sort of IT experience or you should be from engineering or science degree background. Without that, you will not be able to make anything out of this course. You should be able to use your computer with ease and also knowledge or working experience with databases and any programming language is highly desired. If you are a student or entry-level professional, as long as you are from computer science background, uh, you should be able to take this course. When I say computer science, it can be computer science or IT. And also it need not be engineering degree. As long as you have some computer science related degree such as BCA, BSc computers, MSc computers, MTech, etc. You should be able to go through this course and uh, get value out of this. This is about the prerequisites related to this course. Make sure you understand this before signing up for the course.